everyone, welcome back to A Dwarf's Tale, the story of Skadrick Mudbrew here in Parisno. Um, the last episode was pretty solid. We started building our forces, and we've gotten a couple of Kaikoth clansmen and Kaikoth miners here. Uh, I think this episode we're going to keep working on building up our forces and hopefully getting some more victories under our belt. Now, if we look at our orums, we're running pretty low on gold. And I think we might try to find, like, a small group of deserters or something. Actually, let's just talk to one of these dwarven lords. Uh, do I know you? My name is Skedrick Mudbrew at your service, sir. Uh, do you have any tasks? Promise to hire a company of mercenaries for an upcoming campaign. I, I think, um... We'll just say that for now. I don't think we're quite ready to become a uh, mercenary for the Dwarf, for the Kaikoth Federation yet, but um, that'll definitely be later on, once we have some decent troops. I want to see if we can get some easy uh, quests here. Do you have any tasks for me? You need to send a letter? Okay, sure. No trouble. We only get 30 orums for that, but uh, let's just head towards Longbeard Keep here. And, um, let's see. Robbers. Okay. I think we can pretty much kick these guys' butts. Um, let's charge them. And look at this. We've got some, some troops at our back now. So let's go hunt down these robbers. And we're looking pretty solid. Now let's see. Looks like they're on the other side of that river. And they do have crossbowmen. Like. Maybe just stay here. To stop. And let's see if they come towards us. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's take some shots here. Alright, that was a little high. Everyone charge. Guys, let's go. Alright, let's go for the, uh, the ranged guys in the back now. And uh, we are using a blunt weapon. We're using this uh, warhammer in our hand. And we can actually knock them unconscious and solve them as uh, prisoners with this. So that's a nice little extra money on the side as a result of these battles. There we go. Alright, good job, man. Good work. Alright, no casualties on our side, just a glory-seeking man. And we are not going to be hiring anyone who isn't a dwarf for now, so we're just going to leave him behind. This is a dwarves only run, and we're going to take this loot. Very good. Some troops are ready to upgrade. Um, okay, let's keep going here. There's some more robbers over here. Let's hunt them down. And get some more loot. Surrender or die. Very good. And it is dark, but let's just charge. Let's just approach them. And, yeah, as we keep leveling up, I think that, especially if we level up our athletics some more, we're going to be moving pretty quickly. And that's going to be pretty solid for our uh, on-foot build. Because I think we're not going to be using any um, mounted units. I also didn't mention before what our lose condition is for this campaign. And I think if the Kaikoth Confederation gets wiped out, then that'll be considered a lose condition. Oh. Alright. Let's take him out, boys. Throwing rocks like some savages. Let's, uh, there we go. There we go. And, uh, pretty easy. There we go. Good job, man. I love the dialogue that they have in this game for the, uh, the things they say. <laughs> A lot of it's quite amusing to me. Alright, let's get rid of some of this crappy crap, and let's take some of this stuff. Alright, that's okay. 
That's solid. Alright, let's go sell the loot that we got from fighting those robbers. This is solid. We're already building up our forces. We're going to sell all of this stuff. And then let's just sell the rest of this. Deal. Okay, 404. We get some upgrades now. Um, village farmers, okay. Uh, let's go also to the tavern. And let's see. Where's my ransom broker? There you are. Sell all the prisoners. Okay. Here is... Do you have any mercenaries? Okay, we can get a single mercenary. That's that's okay. We'll get one mercenary. And these guys are pretty strong. Um, Kaikoth Mercenary ex Escort. So we'll get one of those. Um, let's get another clansman. And... Let's see. As you are traveling, you meet a knight of the wolf. His pack has abandoned him, and he wishes to join your party as a straggler. Oh man, I uh, th that's a really uh, that's a really strong unit, but they're not dwarves, so we can't hire him. So I have no space and no need for more troops. We're, we only need dwarves. That's a really strong unit, but we're gonna have to skip him for now, and uh, we're gonna have to pay our men. We don't have enough to pay our, our wages, so I think we just go let's go back to the arena and let's get a quick round in at the arena. We're going to have to keep doing this a bit. Um, but let's just get, see if we can get the, the grand prize here real quick. There we go. One down. Go another one down. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, archers are sniping. Looks like they're fighting each other. There we go. Oh man, I wish this arena wasn't so dark. Like, I get that they're dwarves, so they're inside the caves, like, under the mountains and so on, but, man, if they could put a few spotlights here, I mean, I guess there are some torches and stuff around, but it is a very dark and gloomy arena, for sure. Alright, let's get you. Oh. It's so hard to get these guys. Holy crap. There, got you. Alright. Even if we just get 200 orums, that would be solid to pay our troops for a little bit. But I really want to get those uh, miners upgraded to clansmen, because then they're they're much better. So. And then also, if we can hire more of those uh, mercenary escorts from the mercenary captain. Because they are quite strong, and I think we could use them as our main infantry, and then we can upgrade the recruits into crossbowmen. So we, we'll have a nice mix of um, ranged and infantry once we get to that point. But let's just focus here. There we go. All right, 22 left. Yep. All right, another guy over there. Okay. There we go, we got another level up. Level four. All right, let's get it to agility. And let's get it to power strike. And I think I'm gonna, hmm, one-handed or crossbow? Let's go for crossbows and one-handed. Solid, solid. There we go. Eventually we're gonna be just... I wanna be like sniping guys down with the crossbow. And then when they get close we'll be very tough. And melee as well. Oh! There we go. There we go. Okay, 16 remaining. 
There we go. There we go. Archer is going to take shots. There we go. There we go. Just stop that arrow. There we go. Alright, now we gotta make sure they don't gang up on us at the end. So let's whittle them down as much as we can. There we go. Alright, they got an archer back there. Alright, they're fighting. Okay, good. Four left. Let's do this. Let's get this job done. There we go. Nice. Solid. Solid. Okay. Let's talk to Tournament Master. Let's get our Thousand Orums. Very good. And that's a good victory. Let's go ahead and look at our miners. We can upgrade some of you now. Look at this, we already have 11 clansmen. And I think we're sitting pretty on that. Oh, here's the Dwarven King. Let's talk to him, see if he has any quests. I'm at your service, sir. Do you have any tasks? A lawless villain? Okay, we gotta go hunt him down and execute the law. Um, oh yeah, we also gotta go to Longbeard Keep, so we'll do that. And we gotta go to Nora Lock for that. Okay, so let's first go to Longbeard Keep. Deliver this message. Um, what's the guy's name? Gomer. Okay, Gomer. Alright, he should be in the Lord's Castle. Let's go talk to this guy, deliver the message. What the hell? Hold on. Um, I think we can just request a meeting with someone. No one's here. Okay. Let's go ask where this guy is. We have to deliver a message to him. Um, I wish to ask you something. The location of Gomer. Between Rainscreve and Norlock. Okay, we gotta head towards Norlock anyways. Rainscreve and Norlock. Okay, it's somewhere over here then. Okay. Deserters, huh? We could probably actually beat those guys. I think we have a strong enough force. I don't see Gomer anywhere, though. Alright. Let's go for the deserters. Looks like we got some... Oh, man, those guys got to them before we could. Damn it. Alright, well, that happens. Okay, let's see here. Let's stop by Norlock, and the king is right there. Let's go to the village center and find the find the guy that we're looking for. Dwarven village, little stone ones. Who's that guy? Who are you standing around up here? Villager. Okay, we're looking for nervous man. That's who we want. Looks like these are just villagers. Villager, yeah. Okay. Let's see, who's up here? Dwar Lomo. I think this is the village elder. Alright. Let's take a look around. I'm sure he's somewhere here. How about back here? No? Sometimes they like to hide. Wait, who's that? Are you a nervous man? No, you're just a villager. Come on, where is he? He's not behind any of these houses. I'm not sure where this guy is, but he's supposed to be here somewhere. Did 
we check over here? It's just gonna be a guy standing around. That's weird. Hmm. Are we in the right place? I'm pretty sure we are. Let's check this back field over here. There he is, there he is, okay. Found you. You fit his description, then drop your sword. Then die, dog, okay. Alright, there we go. We knocked him out. Okay. Let's talk to King. Nothing. Oh, Freelancer Marshal. Uh, King Bergenar. I found Ramar of Hanun hiding at Norlock. You gave him his punishment. 300 orums along with an extra of 296. Very good. Solid. That's solid money. Alright. We got a little over a thousand orums now. We still have to deliver this message to this other guy. I don't know where he is. Ooh, there's some deserters. Okay, uh, they're gonna die, though. Yeah. Sargol got him. Let's ask him where this guy is. We gotta... I wish to ask you for the location of Gomer. He's at Longview. Okay, he went back to Longview. Okay. Let's go back there. This is pretty good, though. I feel confident enough now that we can actually take on deserters. Hold on, what the heck? Is he not here? Weird. Did he just leave again? Ah, well that's annoying. Yeah, that's a little annoying. Morand, okay. Ah, well, I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere isn't a very large area to cover. Alright, should we get some more volunteers? Why not? I think the rest of these guys, we're gonna turn them into um, crossbowmen. Yeah, let's ask one of these guys. I wish to ask you the location of Gomer. He's like back at Longbeard Keep probably, right? guy I need to talk to. Close to Butcher's Pit. Okay, he's over here. He's coming towards Longbeard Keep. We should come across him. There he is. Alright. Um, I bring a message from Sargal. There we go. Do you have any tasks? Um... He, he wants to go to war. I think it's better there's peace right now. Let's not get involved into anything crazy like that. Just like having to travel across the map to like some other faction. And provoke them. It doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's see if there's any other deserters or anything we can fight. Get some decent loot. Alright, village farmers. Uh, okay. Let's go to the tavern. Bring a bar, ransom broker. We don't have any prisoners. Adventure goods. Alright. Maybe we go back to Karnoth now and we buy some more of those mercenaries. I think we just see if we can do some quests. Like, do you have any tasks? 
Lawless, another lawless villain. Okay, yeah, I'll hunt him down. Let's see, where is he? At Troer. Okay. Oh, about right back here. Okay. All right. Let's go to the village center and find this lawless villain. I guess we're kind of uh, back to our roots as a bounty hunter now. Let's see. Cassier Lamco, you're the village elder. And we're looking for that lawless villain. Let's take a look around. A somewhat larger village here. He's going to be standing next to one of the houses, most likely. Let's get three of them. Cost 900. Yeah, they're expensive, but they're strong. Definitely worth getting. Alright, we got four of those 11 clansmen and 13 miners. Pretty solid. Pretty good stuff. Let's see. King Bergnar, do you have any tasks for me? Uh, he wants us to go collect taxes. Alright, fine. I'll go do it. Um, we gotta go to. I think he said Norlock? Alright, let's go collect taxes for the king. Um, okay. Let's see. Collect taxes due to King Bergnar. It'll take us two days. So we're going to start collecting. The people of Norlock are outraged at your demands and decried as nothing more than extortion. Um, we're going to ignore them and continue. I think if they rebel, our troops are strong enough. To hold them off, so yeah, just keep going. You're interrupted. A large band of angry peasants is marching. Looks like they aim to fight you. Yeah, all right. What the hell? Why don't I have? Why do we just have? Oh, I guess it's like you're not allowed to, k to kill anyone. All right, everyone, just follow me. We're gonna have to fight them off. Why are they humans too? Aren't isn't this a dwarven village? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Alright, we got this guys. This guy's throwing rocks or knives or something. There we go. Alright, and we gotta level up. Let's go and increase our agility and put a point to athletics. And let's keep pumping up that crossbow and one-handed skill. Yeah! Very good. Good work, man. We crushed those peasants. Alright, we're going to keep collecting the taxes. And then pretty soon we'll head back to the king. Okay, 
We gotta we could just make off with the money, but that would be a terrible idea, I think. So let's see. Is he I think he was at Karnoth. Uh, wait, hold on. King Bergnar's party. Go to the castle. Alright, let's go talk to the king. Give him his taxes that he's due. There he is. Hello. About the task he gave me, here are all the taxes. Alright. Solid. Let's see how much money. We got a lot of money from that. Very good. Let's go back to the tavern. Let's go talk to the mercenary man. Um, I'd like to hire some mercenaries. Let's get like five of them. Very good. Now we have a decent party of mercenaries, clansmen, and miners. The miners, I think we're going to turn into crossbowmen. Um, let's see if we, if the king has any other tasks for us. Let's see, can we ask him? Uh, it's a lady. I guess he, he's heading out. Yeah, there he is. Um, do you have any tasks? No other jobs right now. Okay, that's alright. This is solid. Um, there's some robbers over there. Okay, it looks like we're at war, or Kaikoth is at war with the Traharans. Uh, because they're running around over here. Let's go beat up on some robbers and try to get the miners some experience. Another nighttime battle, but look at this. We got a nice, nice little army of of men out our back. Very good. Let's go beat up on these robbers and see what we can get for it. Probably not much, but if some of the miners upgrade, then that's that's solid. Okay. And again, that map that shows the enemies in the top right is so useful. You don't have to guess where they are. You can just run right towards the red dots. Very helpful in these battles. Right, here they come. Everyone charge. Okay. Let's kill. Alright, let's go. Nice. Let's kill. Good job, boys. Man, look at this. This is solid. Our dwarven army is growing. Alright, boys. Mop them up. There you go. And then a, a good mug of ale for every man who gets a kill. There you go. Good job, boys. No casualties on our side. Glorious Eki Man, whatever. Alright, we got another clansman. We got 12. Nice. One upgrade. Solid. Take all the stuff to sell. Even the crappy stuff will take it. Fill up our coffers with, with gold. Take this all back to sell, and then we'll sell the prisoners. Very good, very good. Highlight this stuff. Deal. Very good. And then let's go to the tavern. Where's my ransom broker? Where are you? There you are. Sell all the prisoners I have with me. 63. Very good. Solid. Let's see. What do we got? Parisno and Pioneers. Mm, they might be kind of strong. I think the adventurers are pretty strong. I'm not sure if we're going to go for that right now. Um, let's see if we got, can get some more quests. Uh, hold on, Who, who's fighting here? Pioneers versus minor nobles. Alright, looks like the pioneers lost. They lost the fight. Let's ask Calarac here. Do you have any tasks? Um, I think we're actually we're strong enough now, so let's join Kaikoth Confederation. Your enemies are my enemies. That'll increase our relation with Kaikoth Confederation. I guess it went down with the Mosaru and the Drahara. Prepare for a serious campaign. Do you have any tasks? 
Find me four Traharn Desert Assassins as prisoners. Uh, I don't want to really do that one. It's kind of difficult. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip that one for now. That's all good, though. Let's get some more men. Just keep building our forces. Very good. And keep looking for more guys to fight. Very good. Yeah, we got good money now. And a solid little army. Now let's see, I want to find, like, something stronger to fight than just, like, bandits and stuff, you know? Because we've got the troops to do it now. Trahara scouts. Okay, there's four of them. Th they're probably gonna outrun us, though. Deserters there. Looks like they're running out into the desert. A religious fanatic from the old gods worshippers follows your army and creates much unrest begins some conflicts as well. Kill the fool. Let him be. He's a true man of faith to have so much courage. Alright, we're definitely not going to offer him a place in our troops. He's creating unrest. Let's just kill him. We lost honor, and we lost morale. We leave his body for the crows. Well, maybe that wasn't the best thing, but we can't let anyone cause unrest in the troops. Let's see, Trahara scouts, these guys... Yeah, they're, they're, they're way too fast, we can't catch them. But now we're out in the desert. Okay, great. We got low morale now, what the hell? Holy crap, Trahara Camel Mercenaries? Look how many prisoners they have. Holy crap. They got 13 guys. Okay, alright, I'm just gonna save here. And let's fight them. We shall ride you down with our camels. Alright, well, good luck. Everybody get on this hill. There's not that many of them, guys. We got this. Don't be afraid. If we hold this this hill, then what are they gonna do? The only thing I'm worried about is if they have uh, they, they they might have bows and arrows. All right. Everybody, hold the line. Fight for the mountains. Shots. Yeah, they got bows and arrows and such. Oh. Alright, they are shooting, but... Everybody charge! We got this. They are strong, but I think we could do this. There's not that many of them. Good job, boys. There's one right here. Alright, let's not get too spread out. Alright, good, we dismounted that guy. Hold the ground here, men. Good job. Alright. Dismounted that one. Sorry, camels. Oh! Oh, man! Okay. Alright, men. You're gonna have to carry the day for me now. I got knocked out. I think we're, I think we're doing alright. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, they're getting kills on our weaker troops, but the mercenary escorts are putting in. Oh! Yeah, knock them off those goddamn camels. 
fight for the mountains. Yeah, that's right. Almost done. You guys are almost there. This will be a good victory. Holy moly. Looks like there's only two left, I think. Alright. This guy's trying to fight with his lance on foot. Not working out very well for him. Yeah, swamp him. Man, they are tough, but we got this. There we go. Good job, boys. I knew you could do it. Alright, we lost eight killed. They killed seven miners, a clansman, and that was it. Alright. Look at all these captured enemies. I cannot take these guys because they're humans, but we'll capture the warlords and the camel riders. I'm not sure. Yeah, we need to get more prisoner management. We can't take any more. But that was solid. Let's see. I want to get some crossbowmen so we have a ranged capability. And let's see. Ooh. Some pretty nice loot here as well. Alright, we'll take that for now. Okay, solid, solid. Some troops are ready to upgrade. Alright, cool. We didn't lose any of the escort men, too. That was solid. Um, Kaikoth Confederation Mercenaries, okay. Alright, let's head back to Karnoth, and we'll sell the prisoners, hopefully, there. Let's sell this loot. And let's visit the tavern. And some broker. There you are. Let's see how much we get. Whoa, 3,366. That's really good. Very good, in fact. Let's hire some mercenaries. Let's get like 10 of these guys. Um, very good. Alright, look at this. We're building up our army here. We still have 1,328 rooms, too. Um, let's see, King Bergnar is here. Do you have any tasks for me? Um, it has been months since Karnoth has delivered the taxes and rents due to me as its rightful lord. Well, we got a lot of money from this last time. If you go there and raise the taxes... Alright, fine. Let's do it. Hopefully... How are we doing? We're kind of low on health, but... Uh, we're, let's just try it. Collect the taxes due. I don't know if the, you get more um, outraged peasants in the cities as opposed to the villages, but let's just... It wasn't that hard last time, and we got a lot of money for it, so let's do it this time again. Um, we're probably going to get a little rebellion on our hands. Okay, Drahara and Hakon made peace. Okay, whatever. Let's just see what we get here. Okay. Morale is low? Why? Why is morale low? Holy moly. Messenger rides up to you and tells you a third legion centurion has rallied to soldier soldiers and is now marching for war. Interesting. Okay. Alright. We are getting wages because we are a mercenary captain for the Kai Koth now. So, we are getting some money. Alright. That went well. Now let's see, let's see, um, is the king here, or is he out? He's out in the field, yeah, the lady is here. Escort, okay, there he is. Let's go give him his taxes. At least we didn't even get a rebellion that time, that was pretty solid. About the task he gave me, here you go. Alright, damn, let's see. We got a lot of money now. Let's go back to Karnoth. This is going pretty well. Uh, yeah, let's see. Visit the tavern. Let's get more troops.
Alright, how many should we get this time? Let's get another 10. 27 of these guys now. And all of these guys I'm going to turn into crossbowmen. Yeah. Let's see, do you have any tasks for me? Johnny the Fair. Um... Johnny with two H's. You know what? Sure, let's go execute the law. Um, let's see. Hunt down Johnny the Fair back at Norlock. Sure. I think we were here earlier. Oh yeah, these guys were the ones that rebelled. You know what's weird? When they rebel, they're humans, but then when you walk around the village, they're just dwarves. Doesn't make much sense. Hmm. But that's how it is. Okay, where is Nervous Man? I think he was back here behind this building. He's probably going to be in the same spot as before. There you are. Are you Johnny the Fair? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go back to freaking King Bergnar now. Just a little bit of money here and there. King Bergnar, there you are. Alright, about the task, we gave him his punishment, and we got a level up, and we got 485 gold. Solid. Solid. Let's take a look at our character. We're, we're increasing our level here pretty quick. I think this is going well. Um, let's see. Party map speed. I think we'll get pathfinding. And let's keep putting to one-handed and crossbow, and then I'll put to two-handed as well. Very good. It's going well. There's no pilgrims. Okay. How is our morale? Um, party morale. Our party size is decreasing a lot from our morale. Uh, oh yeah, we also need food. I've totally forgotten to buy food. I think that's a big mistake. I totally forgot about food. Um, ale will increase our morale quite a bit, so let's get that. Um, cheese and olives. Sure. Let's get some more food. Yeah, that was a, something I totally forgot about. Let's go back to Karnoth and get some more food. It, it's worth it to get stuff that increases the morale as much as possible. So that your guys don't abandon you. Alright, that's enough food for now. Morale is still very low, which is bad. Um, but I think if we win, if we keep winning fights... See, look, we're, we just lost five mercenary escorts. What the hell? That's not great. Especially when we were paying 300 apiece for those guys. Alright, let's see here. If we can win some more battles, I think that'll increase our morale. Let's just keep going around. And maybe we shouldn't keep our party too big. Alright, at least it went from very low to low, so it's improving since we bought the food. Um, I can hear a fight going on. I don't know who is fighting. Four deserters. Yeah. We're gonna probably have to leave the lands of the dwarves soon and start roaming around the rest of the landscape. Oh my god, why is the morale so low? I'm, I'm like doing well, dude. I've got money, I've got food. Peasant rebels. Maybe beating up on some peasant rebels will uh, increase the morale. Well, they're running off into the desert. Alright, well... It's kind of annoying that we're losing, guys. I'm not entirely sure what we should do now. Let's take a look. I think...
let's see, is there a faction relations report that I can look at? Um, here's all the factions. Let's see, Kaikoth Confederation is at war with Drahara, that's it. We're fighting the Drahara, who are over here. So they're gonna be coming like this way through the desert. Who's that? Unemployed and mercenary impoverished knights. 12 mercenary cavalry, 11 mercenary crossbowmen, 15 mercenary impoverished knights. Is this worth fighting? I'm not sure. I don't think we can outrun them. We're gonna have to stand and fight. We do outnumber them. I don't know exactly how strong these guys are. I think we can do this though. If they're on horseback, let's get to somewhere that has some tree cover. I know I'm not wearing the most dwarf-like helmet, but that'll change later on because the dwarf, the dwarves have some of the strongest uh, armor in the game. So we're gonna be looking more dwarvish as we get more equipment. But right now I want to build my forces, and hopefully we can raise our morale so that they stop running. Okay, here they come. Yeah, stay here. Hold the line! So what are you doing running around? Alright, right here. Let's see, are they gonna charge at us? They're just forming up their line over there. Alright, everyone follow me. Alright, now they're shooting. Here they come, boys. Here they come. Hold the line. We're gonna charge up with their two-handed swordsmen. These guys look pretty tough. Okay, this... This is going to be a tough fight. Oh man, these guys are tough. Okay. Holy crap. Uh... Crap. Okay, I'll reload my freaking crossbow. Damn it. Alright, we're getting our butts kicked here. Alright, we got a kill there. Oh. oh, shot that horse in the face of point blank range. Hit the mount. Come on. There's a headshot. There's a kill. We've got all these crossbowmen hitting us at the same time. It's not great. I think we'll be alright. I think we're doing alright, though. Everyone charge. Time to charge them down. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. Oh, that guy gets knocked down. Oh, damn it, I hit a friendly troop. Alright, good. Let's go for the crossbowmen. Holy crap, good job, guys. We're kicking their butts. Alright, close in, close in on them. Look at that, now their crossbow men are going down. Mowing them down. Good job, let's freaking go. Let's go. Look how awesome they look, they're all covered in blood and stuff. We lost 15 men, 6 miners, 7 clansmen, a mercenary escort, and a crossbow man. And we killed 35 of them. Let's take you as our prisoners. Let's upgrade you guys. Get some more crossbowmen. Okay, very good. Ooh, we got a Chips Y hander. I think we're gonna just take that as loot. At least we got some gauntlets there, very cool. Chip Prisno Guard Axe. I think we might actually take that. Yeah, it's got better, slightly better speed rating, better reach, more, a lot more damage. So we'll take it. And the rest of the stuff we'll take. And I think that's solid.
Very good. And we got to level up there. So let's increase our agility again. I'm going to increase Iron Flesh. Increase Crossbow and One-Handed. Very good. Got a hundred and one-handed now. Let's go back to Karnoth. And let's sell the loot here that we got. And, yes, yeah, Chip is Y-Handed. It's pretty good, but I think we're going to hold off from going in the two-handed direction. At least for now. And let's sell our prisoners. Hello, Ransom Broker, sell all the prisoners. 729 for that. Um, wandering a sheik, townsman, Zyra, farmer. Here you are. Let me get like five of those guys. Ooh, the Mystic Merchant is here. So this guy has randomized items from the entire game that he'll sell you. Let's see if he has anything good. I'm not entirely sure. Bladed crossbow. We have 2580 to buy with. Heavy crossbow, 78 pierce damage. We'll 1710 for that. And also the music in this mod is really great. I gotta give hats off to the music. Let's get the heavy crossbow. Cool. Alright. Um cracked light. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this does a lot more damage. A lot faster missile speed. Worse speed rating, but other than that, it's gonna be packing a much bigger punch. Alright, cool, cool. Um, let's do like, I think, let's go ask the king for like one more quest. I'm not really hunting robbers down. Oh, that's the uh, escort. King Bergner. Um, do you have any tasks? Alright, another guy to hunt down and execute the law. Let me guess, Norlock again, right? Yep. All these guys, they're all just hanging out in frickin' Norlock. Well, let's go get the money for that. And go to the usual spot. Yeah, I really want to get a nice dwarven helmet soon. But the dwarves have, like I said, the best armor in the game, so... Once we start really growing our, our gold supply, we can purchase some, some good stuff. And we got our new axe, so we can christen it with this food here. Two hits, he goes down. Our relation with Norlock keeps decreasing. They hate us here. Alright, where did King Bergnar go? He was like over here. King Bergnar, there you are. Always easy to find. Alright, 300 plus 119. Okay. Alright, solid. I think... I think I'm going to call it there for this episode. That was pretty good. We're quickly growing our forces. Let's get some upgrades. Get some more crossbowmen. We got 25 mercenary escorts. Our morale is average now, so I don't think guys are going to be running away. A um, couple of clansmen, a couple of crossbowmen. We've gotten some nice equipment here. And I think in the next one, we're just going to keep building our clout with the Kaikoth dwarves fighting bigger and bigger and stronger enemies and upgrading our equipment and our army so thank you thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to catch you in the next one peace